So Would it be rude to lick my plate? Yes. One <laughs> fatal error in mistakes that we made. That don't look good. Welcome to the channel of the Rowing Vets. We are Robin Bethany. And our trusty sidekick and fur baby Maverick. We've been living the full-time RV life since October of 2020. Because we RV and we're both veterans, that's where we chose our name, the Roving Vets. This episode, we just left Louisiana, straight through Texas, and into New Mexico. So pretty much, it was a travel day. But also, I had the worst birthday ever. And we are officially at the great state of Texas. And we're going to pull off here. We're going to make us some sandwiches and walk Maverick around and do a little stuff here. And then we're going to get back at it. And just like that, we made it to Texas. This is the Texas Visitor Center at the rest stop right when you get into Texas from Louisiana. Texas Welcome Center. What do you think, Rob? Bill, uh -huh. He got his chicken noodle. Yeah. Chicken and dumpling. Oh, chicken and dumpling. My bad. Mmm, -hmm. look at mine. I got the crawfish a That's what it was. It's really good, too. Would it be rude to lick my plate? Yes, it would be. That was delicious. Ah, that's good. You want a picture of this? Better hurry up. It's about to disappear real quick. Right, so this is the little place you gotta eat at, right here. Right that, that, Taco Tuesday. That thing. It, yeah, we got Taco, Taco Tuesday. Um, tacos to go on Tuesday. We ate our soup while we were there. Just try to warm up a little bit. And now, it's time to get back out there. We're right at the Texas border. It can't just be me that thinks it's odd that they're warning you in a rest stop not to drink while pregnant. Well, we made it to Abilene, Texas. We were going to try to go a little further, but plans changed throughout the day. And, um, well... We stayed at a campground last night instead of boondocking specifically to be able to charge up the batteries all the way. One fatal error in mistakes that we made. We forgot to change the fridge from electric only to propane. So now we get done with about an eight hour drive day and come back in and the batteries are at like 15%. So, we're going to have to run the generator for a little while so the generator will pump the batteries back up. I cannot believe we did that because we literally made it three nights and still we're only like 20 something percent when we were using the fridge on just propane. But we were like, oh, full hookups. We won't waste our propane. We'll just charge the batteries and we'll put the fridge on and all of that. That way we don't have to worry about it. Yeah. We haven't had the batteries to this dead the whole time we left. It is Tuesday, and we left on Friday. Yeah, don't do that. If you plug in to a full hookup site, specifically to charge all your stuff, remember to change everything back to propane before you get back on the road. Yeah. All right, so we turned the generator on, and now we're sitting at 16%, so let's go. Let's do this. Well, after successfully picking the loudest place in the state of Texas to sleep last night, <laughs> now we're going to go get our Cracker Barrel. At least we'll have something good for breakfast. Rob's got his breakfast for his birthday. We're at Cracker Barrel. He's got him looks like French toast and a... Grandma's breakfast. Grandma's breakfast. Just like she cooks it. <laughs> and I got me a biscuit Benny. Didn't know they had this here, but here we go. Want to know what happens when a cold front comes through the state of Texas? You can come to the sweatshirt section of Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. Well, that's what you don't want to see when you walk out in the morning. It's something like that, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's get it figured out. Good. All right, so we are in Abilene, Texas. Got the truck dropped off to um, 
A Star Diesel, I think is what it's called. And they're going to check out the truck. And until then, this lot, thankfully, that this garage is in is big enough that we can keep the camper parked here. I got the slides pulled out. So I guess we're just going to have a camper day until they get our truck fixed. <laughs> Happy birthday, Rob. While some people have dogs... I have a domesticated dog who sleeps on a pillow and blanket. <laughs> don't mind the shirts, it's craft day. So what's going on? Mm, I don't want to talk about it. No. So what happened? <clears throat> I don't really want to talk about it. Yeah, he's kind of got his feelings hurt a little bit. Well, y'all, the road to courtside just got a lot more interesting because the truck just blew a head gasket so plan was to be in courtside by the 19th if we don't do this it's gonna cost like seven eight grand so instead of that I think we're just gonna do what the mechanic said to help get us to courtside in Arizona and when we get there we'll figure it out from there happy birthday Hey, tried to be a little happier. I'm trying real hard. This is this place number one on Yelp. It is number one on Yelp. Happy, right? right. So we're going to try it. I'm trying real hard. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Oh, they did give us an onion. What mad spinning skills you got there buddy well, I know you didn't have the greatest birthday but how was the food really good really very, good. very good it was good I Brush tried it too and mashed potatoes very good we got bones left I mean it could have been a better day overall but at least the dinner was good here so this is the little place cork and pig tavern it's really good but it's in this cute little area that's got a whole bunch of shops and when I say shops, I mean like little restaurants and such. So this is kind of one of those places if you wouldn't know where to go, just come here and you can find something because there's quite a few little restaurants in this little area, all in this little building. So maybe check it out. Our dinner was amazing. Uh, our server's name is Doc and he was working at the bar, but we were at a table that was one of his, so he did great and we loved our dinner. Rob had a good birthday meal. Might have had a terrible day, but at least he had a good meal. We even got some uh, beignets for his birthday cake instead since we didn't make him a birthday cake. It was lots of flat when we were driving last night, but we are officially hitting some of the mountains here on the west end of the country. We are very, very close to the New Mexico-Texas border. Got Rob down there doing a little bit of PMCS on his truck before we get going on this road. <laughs> Bright and early this morning and we are on the Texas-New Mexico border. Port's out, here we come. To New Mexico, here we go. Well, y'all, we officially made it to New Mexico. Uh, El Paso, just gonna say, did not expect that city to be that huge in the middle of absolutely nothing except the desert. Kind of mind-blowing, but we made it through. <laughs> so, here we go. Arizona, here we come. Because the, everyone that comes through this area has got to get checked by Border Patrol. He just said, thank you, go ahead. I guess me and Maverick don't look too suspicious. <laughs> the crazy thing is we got that big old rig up there. And they didn't check that. They just told him to go ahead too. So once you get out west, there's a lot of dust storms. You can see mountains in like every direction you look. Um, until you get to this area. And it's not that there's no mountains there. It's that we're about to go through a dust storm. So we're going to have to figure out how strong these winds are before we decide if we're going to have to pull over or not. Because that thing catches a lot of wind on the side. So, um, I don't know. Wish us luck. We'll, yeah. It's a rather blustery day here in New Mexico. 
really strong winds. There's a dust storm coming. You can see it behind me. Here we go. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do. We're two hours from the closest BLM land. Um, we're about 40 minutes from a rest stop, so it might be a driving really slow because it's too windy to pull something this size very far.